Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to Teach Me Tech. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and today we are going to talk all about an amazing tool called DocuSign. DocuSign is essentially an e-signature platform, and here's what we're going to cover. What is an e-signature, and why do you need a system for it in your business? Why should you choose DocuSign versus the other options on the market? Features and pricing. Setting up your account. Understanding the dashboard. Sending off your first document for signature. Tracking your documents for signing. Other scenarios where document signing might apply. And finally, getting more out of DocuSign. So without further ado, let's get started. Essentially, what, what is an e-signature platform and why do you need to have one for your business? Well, basically more and more people are accepting, <laughs> quite literally, of the idea of having an e-signature. So whether you've got some kind of agreement, could be a non-disclosure agreement that you send off regularly to your customers or clients, um, or you have just sort of a general partnership agreement, could even be a proposal or a quote that you send off. Not only are more and more people willing to actually accept these kinds of documents, but it's also increasingly popular legislatively for governments to accept documents signed from an IP address as just as good as on paper. And even better, the great thing about document signing online is that you don't have to store an actual physical copy of documents in your office. So before I jump onto the computer and start showing you DocuSign and what it can do, uh, let's have a very quick chat about some of the other options on the market. Um, so you're going to be able to go into your, for example, Google Apps Marketplace and click through and look for e-signatures and you see that there are tons of different options for you to choose from. The reason why I've chosen to show you DocuSign today is because it's really reputable on the market. It's got a beautiful integration with Google Apps and it's also the easiest for people to sign. Well, at least it's one of the easiest that I found. But do keep in mind that depending on your needs, there might be a better fit for you. So do have a look on the market for other e-signature platforms if you want. And a lot of them work in a similar way. So what we'll do is we'll just run through a full demo of DocuSign, and it should give you a better indication of whether or not it's right for your business. So what we'll do is we'll just hop onto the computer, and I'll give you a little bit of an explanation of the features and the pricing. All right, so all you've got to do is navigate to DocuSign.com, and we see that it's navigated me here to DocuSign.com.au. It says here, send, sign, and approve documents from wherever life takes you, and they've got this really cool video landing page, which I really like. And it gives you a little explanation. You can even see somebody's on their phone there, signing a document right from the mobile version. So as we scroll down the landing page, um, you can see it kind of looks almost like the QuickBooks Online signature. Um, you basically, uh, from your mobile device, from the tablet, or from your computer, can sign documents and using your IP address, mark that document as legally signed just as it would be if you'd signed it on paper. So a couple of the key features, it's faster than ever to get things done. Um, it doesn't take long for you to actually implement this, as we'll see. You can get access to not only signed documents, but view versions of documents and when people have signed them from anywhere, anytime, and on any device. DocuSign also works with your favorite apps. So not only does it integrate with Google, which we're always talking about, but it also does have Microsoft and Salesforce integrations. And DocuSign is pretty much the largest company that's on the market. So you can either use it for individual use. Let's say, for example, you're um, needing to get signatures for something at school for your kids, for example. Um, or you could use it for your business or for a large corporate enterprise as well. When we navigate over to the products page underneath electronic signature, we can see here that DocuSign has got a couple of different options. You can either use DocuSign's own interface to sign, send, and manage all of your documents for send out. Or they've also got different integrations. So depending on the scale with which you want to implement DocuSign, you can see here the example of TGK Capital Financial. They've got their document embedded into their website and 
people can actually sign the document from directly using that widget that's built in. So we're not going to go much into that today. Uh, we will talk more about the document management system that comes from within DocuSign. The second thing that I want to show that I think is the most relevant for small businesses is the mobile version. And here it does say there is a free app for DocuSign for the iPhone, iPad, Android, and for Windows. And we'll just scroll down for the professional version here. Um, so it looks like you can send out documents directly from within the app and also track all of the signatures from within either the iPhone or Android again. So again, on Teach Me Tech, we're always making recommendations around, is the app going to be scalable? Will it be able to grow for your business? Is it going to be cost effective? And is it going to be supported? So you can see here that they've already got the app and they have the document control center built within the, uh, the desktop application or the, the browser-based application. So we, we know already this is going to be a go ahead for your business. Let's have a look very quickly at the pricing. It does say here that they've got a free trial, but let's have a look at the pricing page and just be sure. Now, I'm just going to direct you to either the standard or the business plan. So either 34 Australian dollars or 55 Australian dollars um, when you pay annually. So keep in mind that there, it might be a little bit higher for the actual monthly price. And make sure that you do load it up using your country's version so that you get your own currency as well. So now it really depends. Even the personal plan might be enough for you because you can send up to five documents per month. So if you've got really low turnover, I definitely recommend starting on the personal plan. But chances are the standard plan would be better suited for you if you have a business. So you get sort of the basic fields. Um, you can send pretty much unlimited documents for signature. Um, you also get the shared templates, the reminders and the notifications, and that full audit trail. So if you are using this regularly for business, I recommend getting at least on the standard plan. All right, what we'll do is we'll take a very short break, and then when we come back, we'll actually sign up for DocuSign, and we'll see what the application looks like on the inside. We'll be right back. Hello, and welcome back to Teach Me Tech. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and today we're talking all about DocuSign. So where we left off, we were going through the pricing page, and I was giving a little bit of advice around which package to pick. What we'll do now is we'll hop onto the computer and we'll actually sign up. So in the upper right hand corner, click on the free trial button. And what it will do is it'll prompt us for some basic information here. So I'll just put in demo company, admin at demo.company, our favorite business. And you can select your industry. We'll say that we're an accounting business this time with zero to five employees. All right, so we have to go back to our email account and activate the email. Pretty simple. And it will take us straight into the DocuSign dashboard where we can create a password. So I'm just going to use LastPass here. I'll click on that little icon and scroll down the page a bit. Click on the icon, generate a new password, and paste it in. And we'll create a silly security question, my mother's maiden name. Um, we'll just say it's Gordon. All right, so once we sign into DocuSign, it looks relatively straightforward. What I love about the dashboard is that it's pretty much simple. You don't have a lot of different options and places to click through. Um, and it looks like we, of course, we don't have any anything sent out. Um, so it lets us know we've got 31 days left in our trial. And the first step that it's prompting us to do is to sign or to get signatures. Before we do that, I always like to go into the settings and just make sure that, of course, my time zone and all that other information is, is um, set to the right sort of preference. So we'll go click on the upper right-hand corner, and then we'll click on My Preferences, just to double check. So personal information looks OK. We probably could add a photo here if we wanted to. Um, electronic notary public. Now, I'm not a notary public, but if you are, definitely you would be able to add in your information here. Um, for privacy and security, do I want to show my ID card to other DocuSign users? I'll just make this a little bit larger for everyone. Um, I'm just going to untick that if I want my account to be completely private. 
All right, and then I'll just click save here at the bottom to make sure that that saves before I go on to the next option. All right, it looks like it does give you a little ID card here, so you're able to see what your signature looks like before you actually start sending things out. Um, and then it's giving us regional settings, and what it's done is it's matched to my computer's time zone, so it's the 20th of September at 4.47 p.m. Yep, that's correct. Contacts, you could add in your own contacts here if you wanted to. Um, and then for signing and sending, you are able to add custom fields, it looks like. So what we'll do first is we'll actually go in and create a, a document, and then we'll see if custom fields are relevant. Okay, it's also got this thing called template matching um, where you're able to upload your own templates. Um, connected apps, so you can connect in Box, Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, Salesforce, and OneDrive. And we'll walk through how to connect that a little bit later. And then it also customizes what notifications you want to receive. So if you're one of those people that definitely does not like to receive notifications and you want to receive everything all in the app itself, untick all of those. Cool. So now that I'm satisfied that all the preferences have been set, and I'm really anal retentive about doing that right up front, let's just navigate back home. And let's see what the document signing system actually looks like. So it prompts us to either send a document, sign a document, or use a template. And we'll just click on send a document. Now, you can either use a template here or pull it directly from the cloud using one of those tools that we saw before. Or alternatively, you can upload a document. So what I'll do is I've just, I've gone into Google Docs and I've created a very simple document for signing here just because I want to see what it looks like. So rather than you having to do it, I'll be the guinea pig. <laughs> we'll go to File and Download as PDF. But I'm pretty sure DocuSign also accepts Word documents as well. So we'll just go here to our desktop and scroll down to my PDFs and click on document for signing. Great. So one to continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.